Okay, thought I'd give you a little weekend recap. Um, so this is how we finished up. And I think in general it's pretty good. Uh, we didn't get over here, uh, mostly focusing on that side. But at this point I've put um, uh, prep and ready, although I swapped it with a different brand from Home Depot called Prep and Etch. Um, it's just a lot cheaper. Uh, that's a poor 13 product in there, or poor 15, and they're just obscenely overpriced on everything. Uh, but it basically, it's just uh, phosphoric acid, um, and I think you get a sense for why they call it body and white. Um, the chelate ran out of juice effectiveness, um, and so it stopped pulling the rust out, it turned um, like coffee, it looked like coffee, um, and so I ordered another five gallon bucket, but instead of a one gallon concentrate for $90, I got a five gallon premix of Evaporust, which is the, the big name brand, they're the apple of the Chelate Solutions, where the other one I was using was kind of a discount one, so um, ends up being the same price in Amazon Prime, two day shipping and all that good stuff. So, um, on the phosphate, what I found out was that, um, the instructions say to put it on and then scrub it, let it sit for 15 minutes and then wash it off. But if you wash it off, then it flash rusts. Um, and the other directions on the bottle says to leave it on. And if you leave it on, then you get, everything ends up being all white and crusty, like you see there, um, in those spots. Um, so what I found worked best is to um, spray it on, I scrub it with the little um, uh, scouring pad from the kitchen. Um, the sponge part of it is nice because it keeps uh, liquid where you're working. And then um, just did a quick scrub, um, you know, no hard work or anything like that. And then um, I wiped it down um, right afterwards with um, the paper towel. And so um, that seems to be the... Uh, best way because it's not flash rusted, it's not all white and crusty, and um, in theory it should have enough of a phosphate layer on it to um, uh, not flash rust um, while I'm finishing up my chelate. So the uh, chelate will be here on Wednesday, um, the evapor rust, and um, we'll continue on with um, uh, getting that area done, and then we'll switch over to this side which actually looks um, pretty good um, and then I think I'm gonna go ahead and get these areas um, in here um, all done up so that that way when I epoxy I'll just epoxy the whole whole back half and then basically this becomes the new uh, demarcation for um, the next phase